All right, the small town atmosphere of Dade City is getting a lot of buzz recently, but one of the things they are known for is their annual Kumquat Festival. Dr. Whitney Elmore is back with what you need to know about this unique citrus-like plant. Yeah. So good to see it's you. Good to see you. Happy New Year. Uh, Happy New Year to you as well. I'm glad that we're giving Dade City some love, but like I said, I feel like it's growing a lot. More oh, yeah. people are finding out about this uh, cute little town. It, it's kind of a hidden gem. It out is. There. Much Stately. like yes. Mm -hmm. Much so like our fruit. Talk about the kumquat because again, I, you still say it and people laugh when you say it, mm -hmm. I think, if they haven't heard of it much. And then people <laughs> yeah. go, well, what is it? Yeah. Well, it is a, a cousin to the citrus that we're okay. used to. So oranges, limes, lemons, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. But it overall, I mean, you can utilize the fruit for so many things, but really in a landscape setting, it can make for a beautiful focal point. So they do grow well in our oh, area? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, Pasco is known as being the kumquat capital of the world, uh -huh, actually, uh -huh. especially out St. Joseph and around Dade City because of the environment that we have. They really like our poor soils, which okay. is a surprise yeah. and that's kind of lucky for us, but they like it really well drained. Um, they are small overall plants. Okay, which I think we have pictures of kind of what do. they look like growing we in do. the... And maximum height is about 15 feet. So these really fit into small nooks and crannies. Okay. Really well compared to some of our bigger trees when we think landscape mm -hmm. plants like an oak or something that's huge. Plus, these produce these beautiful fruit, and they'll start producing October through March. Okay. So these become a really pretty focal point as a landscape plant, but something you can get fruit off of that you can eat the entire thing, the peel and all. So, and ex describe the taste, because, I mean, it's people, a little it unique. looks like an orange, you it know. It does. It's a little unique. It's somewhere between sweet and tart. It's okay. a very unique blend. And that's why you'll see a lot of the, the preserves and the jellies and the juices that are made, which yes. is what you're going to find at the festival, too, absolutely. I think. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and I mean, there's so many things. I mean, everybody is pretty accustomed to kumquat pies, but the vinaigrettes, the honey, yeah. kumquat honey, the preserves, my favorite, some of the strawberry um, and kumquat preserves, that mix is just yeah. perfect. But that sweet tart flavor, it's, it's unique. And these find their way into the culinary world in some of the finest restaurants yeah. around the world in some pretty unique dishes, but they are beautiful to have, especially through the holidays. I mean, imagine something like this yeah. out across the table in your dishes, but then in the yard at the yeah. same time. Easy to care for. I don't mean to throw you for a loop, but my first thought, and obviously, you know, my husband is a produce farmer, mm -hmm. but I feel like citrus now, there's a lot of hesitation with growing citrus right now sure. because of the diseases that are going on. Sure. Do we have to worry about any of those? So they can get some of those same diseases, but the good part is they are overall tolerant okay. of some of the worst diseases that citrus will get. And we treat them pretty much like citrus, a little bit of fertilizer through the growing season, a little bit of water. Overall, they take care of themselves. If you've got a really small place like on a patio, you can grow these in a container. Okay. Very easily. So they are beautiful additions to a landscape. Easy, fairly low maintenance overall That's compared to the my kind of plants. Yeah. I like and it. And then you get something really nice and yeah. edible, but beautiful at the same time. We have less than a minute left. Can you show us how to, to break one of these open? Well, What's the, the, be kind of the best way to do it is you want to release those oils. You can see all of the little oil pits okay. and show glands Jordan over, here. over the fruit. Okay. And just roll it between your fingers. Give it a good roll, okay. and you'll start to feel it loosen up a little bit, and it'll start to release those essential yeah, oils. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful aromatics. Ooh. And so you simply just bite into this. You can eat the peel and all. Oh, Every you can eat the peel? You can eat the now, peel and all. I know you all. can, but do you recommend? Like Absolutely. Why not? Okay. They taste good. They taste good. It's the overall part of the experience. He's <laughs> telling me to do it. I know. Go. I don't know. <laughs> Come on. You got to do it. So sweet, tart? Yeah. Unusual, but very, very good. Yeah. So marmalades, jams, jellies, these are remarkable. You're sitting there like, okay, this is an experience. I don't know. Well, this one, well, you said there's two varieties, too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's mention that's that. That's one of the smaller ones. The sm this may be a little this bit one sweeter was a little for bit, you. Yeah, okay. But no, but seriously, you did say there's two varieties. Yes. So you got the Maywe, uh, or the Maywe, which are a little bit more round. This one was better. And then the Nagami, which like these, which are a little bit longer. Okay. Um, but still beautiful, and okay. they're going to turn that, that brilliant orange for you through the, 
the holidays. All right. Well, let's end, put the details on the Kumquat Festival. Yeah. I, sh I need to mention, too, my sister-in-law was also, I can't remember what year it was, but she was like Mrs. Kumquat, hey, that, either special. princess, queen, or whatever it is. That's very special I know. Stuff. I love it's it. It's a good memory. So January 25th, <laughs> come to, to downtown Dade City. Hundreds of vendors, foods of all kinds, yes. arts, crafts. It's a good family event. All right, and enjoy Dade City. Thank you. We look forward Thank to seeing you, you soon.